This is an ARC broadcast. There are reports coming out of the quarantined Helified Zone near the San Andreas Chasm. Satellite imagery show what ARC personnel believe to be the legendary Doom Slayer himself fighting the mortally challenged. The Doom Slayer, or Doom Guy as he is sometimes referred to, was thought to be a myth of the Resistance, a sort of avenging angel. He was last reported to be seen on Mars, and is allegedly responsible for the destruction of the Argent Tower there. He disappeared soon afterwards. The UAC continues to deny all reports of his existence. We will continue to broadcast new information as we receive it. This is an ARC broadcast. To any ARC personnel or survivors operating inside the Helified Zones, please be advised. More Doom Slayer sightings have been coming in. ARC leadership do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer directly. Please avoid all contact with Doom Guy at this time. While it is clear that the Slayer is an enemy of the challenge, it is unclear if he could also be a threat to civilians. This is the Resistance Network. In an unbelievable turn of events, the Supergore Nest has been destroyed. Reports from ARC personnel in the field say that they have seen a significant decrease in demonic activity across the globe. Many believe this is proof that the Doomslayer himself has in fact joined the Resistance effort and has successfully eliminated key figures within the ranks of the Challenged. Operatives working inside the UAC cultist organization claim that the leader of that division, priest Dayag Ranok, was in fact removed from his office recently by the Slayer himself. As key leadership within the Mortally Challenge continue to fall, we are seeing a decreased threat from the demons on all fronts. This has given the Resistance a key advantage in the War for Earth. The UAC continues to deny any knowledge of his existence. As surviving members of the ARC network, it is the belief of this station that these reports are in fact true. We believe the Slayer has joined us in the battle against the demons. To anyone still listening to this broadcast, know that there is hope, and he is out there. This is an ARC broadcast. ARC personnel have reported that the Slayer made his way to Dr. Hayden's tower and has retrieved his remains. We do not know why. Unnamed sources inside the organization claim that Dr. Hayden anticipated the Slayer's arrival. We can only hope that this is true and that the Resistance can continue. This is the Resistance Network. Broadcasting live from inside the Arctic safe zone. There was a Slayer sighting on Phobos. Eyewitness reports say that he was spotted inside a command center and then proceeded to fight his way through the mortally challenged and onto the deck of the BFG 10K. This can't be confirmed, but many believe it was the Slayer himself who destroyed Mars in an attempt to stop the challenged from further advancing their position on Earth. We will post more information as it comes in. This is an ARC broadcast. Attention, this is an emergency broadcast from the ARC resistance. Numerous reports from survivor cells across the globe are confirming that at some time within the last 24 hours, the demonic invaders have begun amassing in swarms near gore nests. ARC scientists have theorized that this behavior is indicative of the arrival of a super predator, a world eater. ARC personnel advise all survivors remain in the safe zones. Final broadcast. To all the people of Earth, to anyone listening, the demonic horde has been defeated. The beast 
identified by ARC scientists as the Icon of Sin, was destroyed earlier today by the Slayer himself. And with it, the majority of the demonic force has dispersed. With the threat decreased, it is important now more than ever that we come together. There is hope. The human race will persevere. Many of the survivors believe the Slayer to be a godlike figure in what was a battle between good and evil of biblical proportions. As humanity struggles to understand what happened to them and why, many look to the Slayer now for answers, but his whereabouts remain unknown. <laughs>